So double the regular heat race distance. Has anything got? Has anyone got anything for Oliver in the 42? Waiting for a green one. We're away. Oliver on the outside. Foster with a good jump in third spot. Throw them down in the turn. Number one. Foster moves up into second spot. They had a broken right front in uh, heat number three on the 42 machine. That's why it uh, slowed halfway through the race. They've fixed that damage. Oh, and they go across those bumps in turn number four. Foster gets good drive exiting the corner as unfortunately Desro retires the 97. Still has the same issue. They can't seem to rectify it. So we've got four to go around. It's still Oliver from Foster and Olive with Tasker in position number four. The three Bundy cars leading the way here for your nostalgia sedans. Does anything have, does anyone have anything for the 42 to go down the back straightaway? Lick a flame from underneath the exhaust. Through the bumps in three and four. All the cars riding them pretty well. As we said, they are a much older body shell, but a lot newer parts underneath. Pretty spread out right now. As we said, their, their Carina Classic will be later on in the season, so hopefully we can get into double digits for the Nostalgias, which would be awesome to see. Tasker moves a bit up towards the fence, keeps it off the wall, thankfully. But it's still Ross Oliver, your leader in the 42. Foster's got Olive for company for second spot and Tasker to round out the field. So no change in the running order. But Nostalgia's still turning it on. As we said, their first run here in quite a while. And they'll be enjoying having a run at their home track. Olive catching up to the back of Foster now. Will there be a late challenge for second spot? As Ross Oliver has checked out Pirrish got the hole straight to himself. Oh, Foster and Olive follow each other up to the fence. Tasker wants to buy into this as well. So second isn't settled yet. Foster running the bottom. Olive looking to get by. Down the back straight they come. Tasker waiting for a mistake from either of these two. It's Oliver's race to lose out in front. They go through the bumps in three and four. Foster steps on the loud pedal and gets away from Olive. So still nothing between these second, third and fourth cars. Olive looking to make a move down the inside. Oh, his bumps on the lower part of four. Getting bigger and bigger as they both try to push lower on the racetrack. A bit smoother if you just go up a meter or so. If they leave the door open, Olive will go straight on through. So they're all hugging that bottom of the racetrack. Out of turn four once more. But it's been Ross Oliver's night. The 42 been on song. Besides that uh, broken front, we made contact with Tasker. In heat number three, the car's been flawless. Battle still raging for second spot. As the white flag will be shown to Oliver this time around. And the Stelgers still haven't sorted who wants to be in second. Craig Olive now goes upstairs. See if there's a bit of speed to be had up there for his Bundaberg 11. They'll get the white flag now. But Ross Oliver, in a league of his own, almost lapping the field, will take the chequered flag. He'll take the win. But it's certainly not done with. Ross Olive in the 11. Does he have something for Foster in the final corner? Tucks down on the bottom of the racetrack. Out of the final corner. Foster will get it. Craig Olive home for third. And Tasker four. So a great battle. Ripper drive from the nostalgias.
And as we said, down in numbers tonight, but it'd be great to see some more cars come up here. Ross Oliver in the 42. He's done a tremendous job all night and will collect the flag for his parade lap. Give him a round of applause as he comes by. They've spent a lot of time working on this car. As I said, it's been in development for a little while. It was in the shed for a long while. But they've uh, treated it up pretty nicely and it goes around the Carina track well. Down the back straightaway, give him a round of applause. Your winner for the Nostalgia Final. And as we said, hopefully we can get double the amount of cars up here for their classic there's not a whole lot of them kicking around we'll get Braden to grab a chat with Ross Oliver